Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indisciplined Mind podcast for Monday, January 18th, 2016. Which happens to be Martin Luther King Day, which I'd kind of forgotten about until I was getting ready and, and the time it had come for the wife's alarm to go off. And the wife's alarm didn't go off, and I'm like, well, why isn't she getting up? Do I need to wake her up? And I thought about it, and I thought, well, wait a minute, it's Martin Luther King Day. I bet the college is closed today, so I let her sleep. And if she just missed her alarm and it's going to be late, then I guess that's on me. But uh, I'm making the assumption that the school's closed today. Most schools are. My school is closed. However, I am do not have a Monday class. <laughs> so I don't get the benefit from that. Oh, shucky darn. Had a pretty good weekend. My team, the Green Bay Packers, got eliminated from from the playoffs, which is a bummer. Um, But let's see. So the Cardinals are facing New England, I think, next weekend. There's no way that my team, I don't think, would have been able to beat New England. Uh, I'm still thinking we're going to get the Super Bowl that I've been thinking for a month or two that we're going to have Carolina versus New England that's you know I think I've called it in the past I'm calling it again that's still my prediction for who's going to be on the Super Bowl uh what else is going on I tried to make cookies yesterday I did make cookies yesterday you know I had just such a total brain fart I was making you know your traditional toll house cookies and I just started going down to the ingredient list and, and, and dumping stuff in a bowl. And I didn't read the directions themselves because <laughs> Toll House Cookies, I got this, right? Um, but you know, you're supposed to like combine the eggs and the butter and then add the sugar bit by bit and da 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 da. So I ended up with a really grainy cookie dough. And you know, even had the wife come over when it was too late and go, uh, should I do something about this? And it was really kind of too late. She got it whipped up a little bit better than I had. Uh, but it was still kind of grainy. But the cookies seemed fine. People ate them. We were taking them to um, a friend's house and uh, for a church group thing. And uh, people ate most of them. So I guess they were edible. They were okay. I had three or four of them myself, and they were actually quite tasty. So it's one of those things where if you didn't know that I screwed it up, you probably wouldn't know that I screwed it up. Kind of the story of the weekend has been this story about this flight attendant that's gone missing because um, we have ties to her family. So if you haven't heard the story, there's this woman named Sierra Shields. She is a flight attendant... Uh, for Delta, I believe, based in LaGuardia, based in New York, and apparently Thursday afternoon, I believe, she went into work and quit her job and literally walked out of the airport on foot, left the airport, and as far as anybody knows right now, has not been seen again. So their family is looking for them. Looking for her. I mean, her. they've started a Facebook page. They've been reaching out. And to, to, to media outlets, they've obviously... They've obviously reached out to the police. Filed a report there. But the problem is, is, is apparently, you know, if you are a... Adult... In full charge of your capabilities with no diagnosed mental illness, it may not be their top priority. Which is kind of understandable because she could have just, you know, done a runner, as they might have said in, in the UK. 
yesterday she re- th- this story you know so it's been growing it's been building up steam there's there's a couple Facebook groups for this one is called find Sierra find Sierra and that's S I E R R A Shields S H I E L D S um and the other one I think is just called find Sierra if you find the one you'll find the other because they, they they had it in there but um so yeah the family's looking for they got the police looking for they've they've hit all of the major news outlets at least the New York version of them so ABC CBS Fox uh we're start, starting to get national coverage it showed up on my tw- trending on Twitter this morning um we know them because they've gone, um, members of that family have gone to the college where the wife works, uh, including Sierra herself. Uh, her brother is the um, song leader, worship leader at our church. And he had to go be worship leader at some event down in Florida this weekend. And I can only imagine how hard that must have been having to to go and be, be leading worship and things while you're wondering where, if your sister is, is alive or dead uh, or missing or what have you. That's got to be, I can't even imagine. Uh, they've had her father on the news. So, but there's been some, there's been some details that have popped up really in the last 24 hours in that it seems like you know something was bothering her. She underwent some sort. She was undergoing some sort of changes in her personality or something that her roommates noticed. And apparently, um, she talked to her sister earlier that week, and her sister noticed something to the point where her sister actually hopped on a plane and headed to New York. But by the time she got there, Sierra was already missing. Uh, so yeah, something's not right there. So. You know, as, as a father of an adult child, I can only imagine what this is like for the parents. Uh, the imagining is bad enough. Uh, I wouldn't want to live it. So, um, you know, our church is praying for her that she gets found today. If you are of a praying bent, I'm sure it would be appreciated. Hopefully, um, she's found before I can get this pup, get this posted. I obviously won't get it posted until tonight. Uh, but if this stretches on longer than today, uh, it stretches on past today. I mean, it's been this is like day four or five here. Um, then I'm sure any prayers would be appreciated. Even if she's found, the family is going to need prayers because. Hopefully she's found alive, but I'm assuming that maybe she's having some sort of a mental mental problem, perhaps, um, or something else. You know, either way, I think the family's going to need prayers for a little while. Yeah, so I guess that's about it today. Um, I will let that be that. I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So be seeing you.